Hello, I am Jenny Nyholm, your mental health outreach coordinator for Tri County GLAD. Welcome to January 2015 Community Education Workshop vlog entitled Experiencing Depression. Everyone feels sad once in a while. It is normal for people. According to health.com, depression, however, is a complex condition characterized by a profound sadness, feeling of worthlessness, and a loss of interest in social activities. Welcome this guest for the Community Education Workshop Vlog on Depression. What is your name and tell us about yourself. Hello, my name is Ricardo Nino. I am deaf and also have a hard of hearing sister. I have an older brother and a younger sister and my parents who are hearing and know a bit of sign language. I was born and raised in Oxnard, went to a mainstream school. Schools with deaf and hard of hearing program. I graduated from Oxnard College with an AA degree. I also graduated with an accounting certificate from the training school. Have you experienced depression? When did you get diagnosed or see a doctor? Yes, I've experienced depression through a bad relationship. So I saw my doctor who gave me three different types of prescriptions for my depression. Can you share with us on your negative and positive experiences with depression? I noticed that when I moved to Los Angeles to live with my partner and it progressed, not so good. The relationship deteriorated badly and became a bad situation. What symptoms of depression did you experience? Relationship problems, I noticed that we became abusive in the relationship. Physical abuse, increased alcohol abuse, and not being honest to each other. We did not feel that we were partners romantically, became distant and incompatible while living together. There was not much communication involved too. That's how I noticed I became depressed, isolated, sadder, and was in a dark place even though my partner didn't care. What kind of treatment did you get for your depression? How were these negative and positive experiences of your treatment? Okay, well, going through the bad situation with my partner, I thought that I would see a doctor, get medication, I was a little curious, so I took medication. I became more numb, and my mind was not there. Everything was thrown away. Problems still continued. I continued to take the medication and became more involved with alcohol abuse, and the relationship remained the same, being the bad situation. What is your message in a raising awareness about combating depression? I'll let you know, please talk to your friends or family because it helped. It helped me a lot. They told me to get off the medication and alcohol and asked me what was wrong with my relationship. 
I got off the medication, added alcohol. I woke up and saw things clearly. It was not about me. It was about us, personally. I got out of the relationship and everything. It feels so great. If you do not have anyone such as a good friend or family member and keep it private, please get treatment. It will save your life, as I did. According to Anxiety and Depression Association of America, ADAA.org, depression is a condition in which a person feels discouraged, sad, and hopeless. Unmotivated, disinterested in life in general. This website also mentions that such feelings last for more than two weeks. And when the feelings interfere with daily activities, such as taking care of family, spending time with friends, or going to work or school, it is a major depressive episode. How common is depression? Well, according to the consensus of organizations and websites on depression, 3 to 5% of people suffer from major depression. The lifetime risk is about 17%. Psychology Today, psychologytoday.com, points out that not everyone who is depressed or manic experiences every symptom. The symptoms vary among the individuals and also vary over time. Some symptoms may include persistent, sad, anxious, or empty mood. Feelings of guilt, worthlessness, or helplessness. Decreased energy, fatigued, being slowed down. Difficulty concentrating, remembering, or making decisions. Appetite and or weight loss, or overeating and weight gain. From the consensus of websites on depression, there are three types of depression. Major depression, also known as clinical depression. Dysthymia, mild depression. and bipolar disorder, also known as manic depression. Depression may happen to anyone at any age from child to an adult. From the consensus of websites on depression, some causes and risk factors of depression may include loneliness, a recent stressful life experience, family history of depression, marital or relationship problems, financial strain, If you suspect that you or someone you care about may have the symptoms of depression, it is important to start small steps and ask for help. 
In these cases, the best approach involves a combination of social support, lifestyle changes, emotional skill building, and professional help. If an approach may not suffice for you, it is essential to seek help from a mental health professional. Therapy, medication, or alternative strategies may vary among individuals. Thank you for sharing your experiences on depression with us. Thank you. I'm happy to share my experiences.